Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you um, an easy way to paint, uh, rather how I would basically paint this particular lotus pendant. Um, I have actually mixed a couple of colors here. I have mixed a light pink, very small quantities of light pink, uh, a little bit of purple and a little bit of uh, a maroon and a hint of gold. Now, uh, you know, you might be wondering why have I added gold to it? Uh, it's only to give me a little bit of a, a little bit of a sheen um, uh, to the piece. Uh, you know, it's just that the coat comes much better and much neater. Um, that's only if you want that kind of an effect. So if you see, I've already begun uh, applying my uh, applying the color. If you have, uh, you know, like a deep uh, magenta or a uh, or a pink or something go ahead you might not even want to uh, mix any particular color so what I'm doing here is I'm just mixing I've just mixed a bunch of colors and you know I kind of like this uh, this way and the coat is usually single it's quite neat yep there you go Avoid as much as you can, um, you know, it, it, to get any kind of a color on this, that's all. Don't, because if you have to get some color on that and then try painting gold, you're just in for a lot of coats of paint, um, you know, unnecessarily. In, in that case, you just be careful when you are using, uh, you know, a brush like this. If you're not confident, please switch to a thinner uh, or rather a smaller uh, uh, number with regard to the brush brush size gently place it down that's it so you have all of that covered quite straightforward and simple so far nothing too complicated and it's going to be that way itself uh, going forward uh, because all that we have to do now is a coat of gold um, which is again going to be very easy I have some uh, diluted gold paint and uh, first let me get on with painting the gungru bead now this is a gungru bead one of the biggest disadvantages here is that this these beads unlike the stick beads keep shaking so you know what i would always suggest is do line by line let cover one half of it cover the front part of it let it you know why don't you put it down onto a plastic sheet or a table which doesn't stick and then you know get on to the other one and only when the front or when this part basically dries get on with the other uh, you know other side the back side don't try covering the whole bead in one go may it be a jhumka may it be anything even I, for me as well uh, you know the gungru bead is a very time consuming process unfortunately there is no shortcut to that that's the only way to do it um patiently and neatly it'll come through so once that is done obviously there is no beads for this if you see there's nothing uh, that I've, I've not added anything to this but I would still uh, do uh, designing on this so because the petals are the way it is I would just draw a line like that because I, I just want to um, make sure each of these petals uh, have a, a beautiful definition one stroke and the other one and there you go you have this really really simple a yet a very elegant looking piece that's ready it's it's so simple and um, you know it gives you a good practice to even chalk out designs with lines and things like that even if you're not confident of doing your strokes I, I suggest that you, you you practice on a plain piece of paper 
before going directly on to your fire terracotta piece so what i would do at this stage is i would just take uh, draw thin lines um, in the center very thin lines not um, nothing too thick very swift very um, quick short lines nothing more than that that's it i wouldn't personally do anything beyond this to this particular pendant and i'll leave the rest to just assembling um, the earring i will paint it in a slightly different manner and actually fill in do the opposite of what i've done here when i say opposite i would not draw lines i would actually fill in the color like this for each petal flat brushes don't don't really help a lot especially for um, terracotta round is obviously better so yeah i think this is it we have a beautiful pair of these terracotta lotus set that's ready i really hope you like the video everyone really easy uh, something that everybody can get with practice i really hope you like it if if yes then please like the video and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you so much for watching everyone